She's air sign. She knows how to keep everything in the pocket, in a nice little air pocket. She keeps all her emotions in a little cloud that she carries. You know the Windows cloud that all your information goes to the cloud? Think of the Aquarius woman just like Amazon or any one of these tech companies. All the information goes in the cloud and it stays there. All right, she could keep secrets. This is a woman that can keep you every secret. Summer. She could be Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom, Temple of Secrets. She could keep all the secrets of the world. She could be a great archaeologist because she will keep all the world's secrets. Museum curator. She knows everything already. She might as well work in a museum. That's the beauty of the Aquarius woman. She is quirky. She knows things that other people don't know, and she will tell you about them. She doesn't mind sharing her information. If she finds good information for you, she got good restaurants, good advice, good vacation, good travel plans. She doesn't mind sharing. She's knowledge. Again, you want a woman that doesn't want to tell you you're not worthy without having to say anything? This is her. She will let you know you're not worthy by just looking at you. One look from an Aquarius woman will tell you everything you need to know. You ever got that look from your mother that just told you don't eat the candy or don't take a cookie out the cookie jar? That's the Aquarius woman. So if you want to date her, you need to be mindful. She's going to treat you like a little boy <laughs> or a little girl, whoever. She's God. Remember, everybody is underneath her. All right? That's how she moves, that's how she thinks. It's a beautiful way to think. That's why we are air signs. Air signs like to float. We think we float above everybody. Y'all think it's narcissism, God complex. It is, all right? I'm gonna be honest with y'all, that is. Because who else is gonna balance the world? Who else is gonna breathe life? You can survive without every other element. Well, except water, you can't survive without water. But air, the minute you don't have no air, you are gone. You can survive without water about a week. You can survive without food. You can survive without shelter. You can't survive without air more than a few seconds. You get no air to your lungs, to your body, to your heart. You might go brain dead and something's going bad is going to happen if you lose a little bit of air. So don't lose us. All right? And that's how she feels. 